I don't know if drinking is a hobby. I would say yes. I have like a very limited social battery. This is something that as a stocking fillers, I think it's awesome. Oh, you can't see it very well. It's unfortunately a one-time use game. I don't categorize it as a stocking fill because of the price tag. And then, and then I have no idea what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. Buongiorno beautiful people, how are you? I hope you're doing well, welcome back to my channel. It's currently 5.35am and I'm going to make myself a coffee because we're going to the gym. So today I thought I would do sort of a Christmas vlog slash, I think they call it fitmas when it's related to fitness. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna bring you with me to the gym. I'm going to do a lower body session. Pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to squat, which I haven't done properly in a while. So I think I'm gonna go light today because I'm following a new program and um they require full range of motion so when you like let's just squat to the ground so that's hard so yeah i'm gonna go like on that one and then and then i have no idea what i'm gonna do for the rest of the day i have a like a virtual christmas work lunch kind of thing because they had to cancel the one in london due to covid so i have to do that for a few hours and they actually i feel like it's really cool because they're giving us like a voucher to uh, buy lunch on them and then we can like eat together i think there's some games and stuff like that so yeah i definitely need to assist on that but later i think after i'm gonna try and see if we can finish the front entrance and I might go to town to do a few things. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna bring with you. No, I'm gonna bring you with me. <laughs> and that's it. I don't know, it's a bit weird because last year I think I did Vlogmas quite regularly, except for the last one before Christmas day, I think I did them all. And so this year, honestly, December suddenly arrived. It was about the 5th of December. I still was debating whether or not I would film the sort of what happened video. And, and yeah, and I completely forgot about Christmas and I completely forgot about Vlogmas, literally. I just didn't do it this year. I'm gonna have this coffee and then I'll see you at the gym. So this is how long it takes me <laughs> to dry my hair. I probably have skipped or fast forwarded or cut a few bits, but this is the reason why I do it once a week and that's it. Well, it's also healthy for the hair to wash it once a week, but boy, 
I just get so bored. <laughs> I cannot deal with it. And as well, I had to go get my lashes done, but the appointment is not until, I wanna say the day before Christmas. No, it's the 23rd. So the day before Christmas Eve, they look so bad right now. It's like um, the legs of a spider, like, my coffee is cold. Not sure yet what we're gonna do today, but we shall roll with it. I'm gonna work for a while, this until probably lunchtime, and um, I'll see you then. I'm getting down the stairs and I see this. <laughs> Hi! Who is this? <laughs> I got you guys. I got you. You're adorable. <laughs> I miss you, miss you. Right, so it's lunchtime, and as I said, I have this online lunch thing. Before I am off doing that, I would very quickly actually go through all the presents that we got. I already warned everyone not to watch this video, so it's fine, I can show you the presents. And excuse the atrocious background entry. Right, so I have all the presents for my partner, but they're already wrapped obviously so that he doesn't see them and second of all he's right there so I'm not gonna talk about what they are otherwise I ruin completely the surprise so I'm going to do the present for everyone else I'm gonna start with the boring things that you guys saw already just to get it over with this one we saw a beard wash and shave cream for someone who sometimes has a beard sometimes clean shaves I thought perfect then in that same category of beauty and um, self-care and whatever um, as I show you in the vlog going to London I got this scalp massaging brush and it's because if you have like me I started to have gel nails they get ruined well I think at least they get ruined very easily when you do things like clean your scalp oh so, if you use this it's amazing this is something that as a stocking filler I think it's awesome then even though it's small I don't categorize it as a stocking filler just because of the price tag they can be very very pricey and they can be very cheap but if you go for a hundred percent pure silk which I did the pricey these are a hundred percent pure mulberry silk pillowcases which are good for, for your hair and apparently they're good for preventing stuff like acne and all the stuff that is around this area of your body so I thought it was something really cute it's a really nice gift and I'm pretty sure that I will gift myself one as well so my, my pillowcase is coming then going on sort of kitchen slash hobbies I thought things like a book a cookbook especially if they're very into a certain type of cuisine or if they want to learn a new skill I don't know whatever it is I think a cookbook is a really cute gift this one in particular, I first of all liked it because of the cover. It's from TK Maxx. I love TK Maxx for books in general. I found that if you really look for it, you can find some gems, even coffee table books. I found the um, Vogue on Coco Chanel and on Dior in TK Maxx, and those are awesome. They usually, if you buy even on Amazon, they're still pricey, whereas there was half a price, what, what you could buy on Amazon, so I thought that was amazing. So yeah, coffee, book, coffee table books like that, or cookbooks or anything that looks pretty, I think that would be a good idea. And then still on the category of kitchen, kind of such hobbies, we went, I think fancy, I would say. Um, I'm not gonna open it because it arrived gift wrapped from the company. So I'm going to put here or here, the actual picture of the item from the online picture store. But yeah, it's a teapot. And I think actually it's a really, really nice gift. And if you can get the matching teacups or I don't know, like a traveling thermos kind of thing, I think it will be really nice. And it's something that, again, I will probably buy for myself as well at some point in the future. And we got it together with the tea bags to go with this. So yeah, can't show you unfortunately, but uh, I'm pretty sure it looks exactly like the website. Then, I don't know if drinking is a hobby. I think that's debatable um i would say yes this is a 
brandy, yes, a brandy warmer glass thing. I think it's really, really cool. And I got it from John Lewis and it looked like, even if you have it just as a decoration on the shelf, I think it looks awesome. Oh, you can't see it very well. <laughs> there you go. It comes with a glass. So I thought that is something really cute that, you know, if someone is into things like brandy or whiskey, uh, whatever those type of alcohol need to be experienced better, I guess. I think that was cool. And last year, no, two years ago, we got from my future sister-in-law a set of really cool champagne glasses from made.com. So I think something like champagne glasses, it could be really cool to gift. Um, and then, thank you, food. The last category is board games. Now, my partner and I, we're really, really into board games, even us too, or, you know, when people come over, our friends, or during Christmas. So board games was really a good thing for us and I think it's a very fun thing to give to pre to people even for example just a sister she's not gonna be with us probably in Christmas so we're gifting them a game a board game that she can play with the family of her boyfriend which they're spending Christmas with so I think we're getting code names and I think another cool one is um the cards of Monopoly Monopoly deal Monopoly sorry Monopoly deal is a really quick game so that you don't have to play for the whole you know four, five, six hours that it takes to do Monopoly is very quick and I think it's an awesome game and actually we got addicted so yeah definitely recommend that then um Josh's <laughs> Josh's mom uh she sometimes uses emojis for the emotion that is not what people will think of such as the smirky face when you do something naughty right she uses it when something goes bad like you know when you're like hmm like oh something went bad it's funny because that's what what people will read as if she sent it to someone that doesn't know that she, that's what she uses for so it's a really funny thing so we thought well i thought that giving the emoji game will be funny because it will make it a little bit more complicated since they have this habit of using emoji for something that is not what it is so i thought maybe it could be fun and then the exit game now this it's a series of games, unfortunately a one-time use game, so you have to um, solve murders, and I think all of them do, yeah, I think all of them, you have to solve murders and you have to do activities and it has like a soundtrack and an app to do, um, and it's a very, very, not complicated, but like it's an intrinsic game, like it really puts you in this this situation it really really drives drives you in and you have to do activities you have to cut pieces and there are puzzles and there are loads of fun things to do uh, which is why you only get to use it once because you're cutting stuff and then you know if you try it again even with different people you you can see that the pieces are cut so yeah but it's really fun last year we got it about the murder on the oriental express something like that that's not probably the original title but you know it was set on the uh, on the train of the oriental express and then this one is about the i will butcher it so break that egypt basically yeah really fun really recommended not necessarily good for the environment but it's a nice game and you can put in recycling and you know try to be better for the environment the food is getting cold so, and I'm pretty sure now it's time for me to start the online Christmas party. So I'm gonna go off and then I'll, I'll see you later. I'm gonna be honest, that virtual party absolutely destroyed me. I have no energy left. Um, I don't know if you guys can relate, but um, I have like a very limited social battery where if I have to, it's not about paying attention, but more if I have to interact with people and just, you know, keep a happy face for hours and hours and hours, like mentally it drains me. And right now I would rather, I think I would like to go to bed. Like I am literally that tired. It's not even, it's 10 past four and I'm done for the day. I cannot, like my muscles in my jaw like, I guess it's a good thing, I like, that I'm tired from smiling, but... I don't want to drag it along for too long, but I'm basically, yeah, 
I'm going to wrap this present. So I think honestly for today, <laughs> this is what I can do. I'm pretty sure this is long enough of a video anyway. It usually goes into the 20 minutes or so. So um, I don't know if it's quite that long, but probably it is, especially with the workout. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, sort of, um, it's not a vlog, must, but kind of is a Christmas vlog, uh, Christmas themed activity, I guess. And yeah, besides the workout this morning, by the way, amazing, I love it. And I recommend everyone to go try a program at the gym that they make them super motivated to go and you like, I don't wanna miss a workout. like. That feeling for me is amazing. I keep laughing, don't I? So yeah, I really hope you liked this vlog. If you did, then please don't forget to give it a like. It really, really does support me a lot. I'm not just saying so, it really does. And as well, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn the bell notification on so you know when I'm uploading. And yeah, and hopefully I will see you next time. Ciao. Walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately, I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes. So it's true. I'm so glad you feel it too. Nothing to not helpful buddy